Welcome to Blown Clutch. My name is Norbert. And this week we have... Oh, I say we have. It's more the fact that I start a race team. Much more. But first, in December of 2021, a car that was rarely bought went out of production. It was a car that many loved but few knew of its existence. The original production run was four years, from 1988 to 1992. And the replicas have all gone out of business. You're wondering what it is, aren't you? Well, I'm driving it. So here it is. It's the Okria 300 RS. Most people haven't actually seen it before. So, you're probably wondering about the performance figures. Now, this car was very underrated, so they never actually officially brought out any. But we have some estimations. This car, specifically, brings out about 320 horsepower. It's probably lost a few over the, like, 20 years it's been, been around as a daily driver. Yeah, you heard me right, this was a daily driver. Good. I can tell you that it's got all-wheel drive and to be honest for an all-wheel drive car it's got pretty decent fuel mileage do you want to know of course you do the fuel mileage is about I want to say 20 miles per gallon that's only an estimation anyway I'm probably wondering why you would actually want to, like, find this car. Well, you can no longer do that. If you, f if you've got a friend who has it, it might be an idea. Uh, at least have a go in it, because it's definitely fun. Oh, I can't necessarily recommend this to you, of course, because, like I've said, you can't buy it. Why is it so special? It was one of the first. Four-door sedans, or saloons. I don't know which one it would be. I think it's a sedan. But it, one of the first four-door sedans from a small manufacturer to go to the mainstream market. Right. So, to end off this day, or, well, couple of minutes for you, have a little speech about Okura. You know, I'll probably talk to you a lot. So, seeing how Okura has finally, or Okura um, specialists have finally all gone under, this car is truly special. Probably never going to find anyone anywhere on the roads anymore. The place you could find it is possibly a car meet if you're if you're lucky but all of that all of the trial and error that okura has endured it's still a pretty cool family saloon and it looks pretty good as well i mean it's very aggressive also very very 80s but it's possibly it's downfall as well anyway we'll get back to the studio Though many flaws, it will be greatly missed. Fun fact, I had an Okura. Sold it to my mum. Then she sold it to a man in Aberdeen. Then he sold it to his son, who sold it to a ditch. I don't think I'm going get, to get it back. Anyway, now it's time to put it round the track. And it's off. Slightly generally start there, but we're off. And onto the first left-hand corner over past the dealership and onto the right hand corner they're tucking it very tightly over there and now onto another right hand corner keeping it very tight through here and through there very lovely speed going through the chicane and down through the lamppost straight going down here now very 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 quick and hard on the brakes here tucking it in very nicely now going through here, right, and yes, gorgeous, right through there, very fast, 
and through lovely and now onto the motorway the dual carriageway and pass through the uh, first roundabout and going round the second just about now and he's on the way back Mr Higgs is very very good and I've crossed the line now the OQF 300 RS did it in one oh three point five one now we're assuming this is quick right so a blown clutch challenge welcome to the blown clutch racing team this is our racing hq let me show you the three cars lined up for you first up is this it's a 2004 next seeker and this thing rumor has it is very good at racing it's the base model but it's a nippy little thing for three thousand dollars cheap as chips for a car we will be doing tons of things like new paint wheels body kit power mods only if you vote which i'll tell you how to do later Next choice, Chevron Zafiro. Now this thing has potential. It's front wheel drive and a standard Chevron made and SS version. So this has loads we could do to this, do to it. All we need is a new look of paint. We don't want awful orange. But, ne but nevertheless, $3,000 for a decent little racer. Finally, a Sumo Ota. Yes, a Sumo Ota. This thing is a little beast by itself, against, again, $3,000. This thing has, again, tons of potential. What do you think? I'll tell you how to vote. So, to the studio. So, to vote in the comments for the e next Seeker, say, Next, I'll be Seeker. For the Chevron Zafiro, say, Wow, a Chevron's a fire. And for the Sumo Ota, say, Hey, Simon. Oat about it. But now it's time for Who's New in the Auto Ruse? Woo! Well, welcome to our. Uh, welcome to this segment called What's New in the Auto Ruse? Now, this is basic. This segment is all about the up and coming vehicles, cars, possibly motorbikes, trucks, if we ever get round to them because there's a lot lots of cars but we're going to be mo mainly focusing on cars so the first car we're going to be focusing on is this it's the 2022 sumo rockies so this has seven trims it's got the base the premium the limited the limited xt the onyx xt the touring xt and the wilderness i am very much looking forward to this car I'm especially looking forward to the wilderness one, even though I'll never take it off road. But you know, it's a feeling of it's like knowing you have something that possibly other people don't have, unless they're in a terrain traveler. Moving on, we next have this. This is a very, very nice looking. El Grand 2022 El Grand Immense. This is a lovely large SUV, perfect for people who want to look grand and look pretty cool without with having a name that doesn't go very far. Brilliant. I know. There are four trims on this: the Lux Premium Select. Mine is three trims. Um. The Lux Premium Select and Sensory. Lovely, lovely colours here. Now, the final one, which I am very much excited for, is this. Oh. This is the all-new Terrain 2022 Terrain Traveller Preserver. To be honest... I might sell my Terrain Traveller to the Preserver. It's just so cool. There's many, many different body styles. There's all sorts of 
engines, trims, there's also two-tone paint colours, depending on which one you get. It's just so awesome. I'm definitely going to be buying this car. Hopefully, when it comes out and I eventually review it, hopefully, if they don't ban me from the dealerships for being, like, too much in love with it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I will very much be looking forward to this. This thing is going to be awesome. And that is it for what's new in the Auto Ruse. Okay, so, in a normal show, we'd have a guest. But since it's our first show, we have nobody to come on. So put in the comments who you think we should have. Also, every guest will be included in the challenges, as I will be interviewing, and then whatever the theme is for that episode, they would give their opinion. Such as, the next episode, which isn't far away, will be Valentine's themed. Or somewhere along that line. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to vote for your car for the car of choice. And that's it. Goodbye. And make sure not to blow a clutch. <laughs>